Dzień dobry wszystkim, mam nadzieję, że macie dobry dzień dzisiaj. And I'm gonna start saying Polish sayings at the start of every episode, so that hopefully meant Good day everyone, hopefully you're having a good day today, hopefully. I'm sure someone will pull me up if I completely butchered that, but we are into the fourth episode of the Polish Empire, going for the cultural victory, which is why we've only got two cities up and running. Bratislava, very luckily, uh, is a cultural city, or a cultural city-state, so that's going to help us out a great deal, no doubt, soon. Uh, unfortunately, our military is stuck in between this little circle, they're pretty much entrapped. Uh, now, I'm guessing Morocco is going to start a fight with us sooner rather than later, so I'm looking out for that, so we're going to start thinking about how we're going to protect ourselves, especially Krakow, and hopefully we'll be exploring and seeing a couple more new sieves and just keep on doing what we've been doing. Now what I want to do is just actually hurry the production up if I'm able to, so we are focusing on production. Uh, now, oh, also, the Riders Guild, it, that was a specialist building, not a wonder. So, that kind of sucks. I thought it was a world wonder. That's why we quickly got it. But it's alright. We can, of course, put citizens in there. We'll do that a bit later, which will give us a lot more culture as well. Uh, but for the time being, let's maybe get rid of this and try to squeeze someone in. Actually, no, that's probably the best place, best tile to put someone in. Where else would they go? I don't know, who knows? I'll just leave them there. And I think who else needs orders? You guys need orders. So you've built a farm. Oh, in five turns, we're gonna have someone else over here as well. Now you, you wanna come up over here. That is a slightly good idea. And we can build a farm there. Five more turns here and six more turns here. How about we just get back to work over here? Now, a lot of you guys don't like the yield icons, but I like them because you know, I guess I have to memorize everything. Uh, we'll do two over here. Well, how about... No, we'll work this tile. And we'll just create another farm. Now, over here... Uh, you guys told me to come up north, which does make a bit of sense. Although I see it's more plausible that if we go over here, we'll get pushed back. Because once they own the territory, we get pushed. Might as well listen to you guys and actually come up north. But a priority really should be is to go ahead and learn. What exactly do we need to learn? It is civil service. That's going to take a little while to get that. Which will then enable us for open border treaties to... Well, so we're able to cross territories. Now the Ducal stable, stable is the Polish stable replacement. Which, I'm not really sure what we're able to build. Not Hussars just yet so I guess they come in later I'd love to find out where we're on a chivalry renaissance era this is about the time here we go wing to Zars, metallurgy that's a lot of uh, turns to get that though let's keep on going let's go with mathematics and then through to civil service they've got a lot to learn up okay, so at the moment we'll go for trapping now instead that's alright I'll let the game do its own thing. It's not really that important as to what we work on. But let's go over into the next turn now. Hopefully no one will beat us to the Oracle. If they can do, then I'll be screaming. Although we should be good. Especially since we're growing quite quickly. And then I'll push these workers over here. Now you guys should just go on alert. You guys should also go on alert. And we'll try to figure something out. Oh, we're getting a work boat in two moves as well in Krakow. Or in Krakowie, as they say in Poland. It's always interesting hearing like how you say a word in the original country and how we say it in English. It's always a little bit different. Like Warsaw is Warszawa in Polish. Where Sydney is just Sydney, obviously, because we speak English. Although most languages these days are derived from Latin, so they're incredibly similar. Let's close that off. I, I really do like the uh, yield tiles though. They help me out so much. So I know you guys don't like it. Some of you at least don't like it. I love it though. It really helps me out. I'll keep it for maybe a bit of the episode until I uh, really learn up on what every tile is. So usually a field or grasslands are two food. Plains are one food and one production. Cattle is 
three food, which hopefully we'll actually get Even soon. Even brute beasts and wandering birds do not fall into the same traps or nets twice. Okay, we'll be able to build a ducal soon. Ducal stable. Stable. Uh, still, don't really want to do anything over here just yet. I've got a fair bit of money, so maybe I could go ahead and buy something, but I won't. We'll wait up. Uh, let's see. Lighthouse? No. Hmm. A worker? No, definitely not. Uh, let's think, let's think, let's think. Maybe an amphitheater. I mean, it's only going to be 34 turns as well, so that's one of the shortest buildings to build apart from the shrine. And it'll help us out a great deal later on. In the meantime, let's get the Polish workboat over here and create fishing boats. We're going to go ahead and increase that. Okay. Just moved up another turn yet again. We're going to be able to grow Krakow even quicker. Ooh. Now, Morocco has already gone into the medieval era. Right, to spare myself any embarrassment, I'm not even going to say his name, but who is that that stands before me? Let's see what we've got. Let's go ahead and just accept embassies, propose. Okay. Goodbye. Now I can at least see where they are. Oh, hello. Asur. So clearly that's another continent. And he's got a nice capital, although it's pretty small. Only six people. Krakas, well, it's halfway there. It's going to be bigger soon, no doubt. I'm going to make sure that no one settles over in this land. See, it's absolutely... Well, I guess it would be pretty pointless to settle over here. Maybe in this marsh. Another city, but we don't want too many cities. If someone did settle over here, that would definitely suck, though. It would hurt me really hard. But there we go. As we can see there, we've got four tiles now. One, two, three, four away from our city. And I'm pretty sure... Right, so we can't actually work that tile. But, like, it's in our territory. So that's that. All right. So, and... Ooh, Catholicism has been found in a medieval era. Okay. So let's see what Assyria is at. Oh, okay. Morocco is still in the lead. I remember in Gods and Kings, Persia were the uh, leading civilization, and they were leading for pretty much the whole game. And then, thankfully, I managed to uh, load up a completely epic army and just abolish them from existence. Krakow has grown. Radoslava calls for faith. You can you can wait up for faith. I'm gonna be growing soon. He turns to you guys. Have one more. It's okay. So like maybe a city right over here in the desert so we can use this stuff and then nobody can come closer maybe that'll help I don't know it'd be interesting to see what you guys think but you guys keep on building that's the Assyrian trireme as long as we don't have any enemies just yet I really don't want you to get angry at me Morocco for standing on your borders that's definitely not going to help us out Maria the First, that's Portugal. The letter seeks a great writer, they're up north. And the barbarian encampment has been discovered, it's right next to us as well, Warsaw. Okay. Let's go talk to Marrakesh, Morocco. Dainetti. Greetings, my friends. Let's go ahead and trade. Kimmel. Oh, nice. Okay, that's cool, that's cool, mate. I'll give you some citrus. Yeah, citrus propose. Jamil. I must accept. Very well. Okay, so that's not going to take us uh, take us to negative happiness, which is good. So I'll be able to move my guys out now, thankfully and finally. And we'll be able to protect us against the barbarian encampment, which is cool beans. In the meantime... I'd love it if you guys, workers, came up all the way over here and actually started working on Krakow. I got so much money as well. Maybe I should have given a bit of money. Who knows? We haven't reached a golden age yet either. That's coming soon.
Uh, the problem with open borders is that if you don't have much of an army, then Each you're losing grass and grass. Oh, yes. The wisest of all the Greeks. It is because I alone of all the Greeks know that I know nothing. One of the most famous quotes of all. I know that I know nothing. What goes something along those lines? Anyway, we've got one free social policy. So, we get a, yet another free social policy. We'll go for fine arts. 50% of excess happiness added each turn to the amount of culture that may be spent on social policies. And that's not going to help us at all at the moment. Uh, but it will help us to progress through the aesthetics social policy. So, we've got to do it whether we like it or not, pretty much. So, I'm going to go for that. And then, soon, very soon, actually, we'll be able to unlock a new social policy. The legit way. There's Portugal right there. Um, so, let's go ahead and get some happiness. We've also got a horsey. That's very nice. Maybe a settler over here. So, we can work these tiles. Stone, stone, and incense. That's just happiness stuff, really, though. Let's go ahead and build the circus, though. So we can get happier. And bring up our army. Yeah, so as I was saying, uh, with the, the open borders, if you don't have much of an army and the people that you have open borders with notice that, then they can come in and attack you because they realize you have no army of very little of an army and they just wipe you off the map they're more likely to declare war on you something that happens in the game so something that we've got to keep in mind especially because they've got swordsmen we've only got archers and warriors although if they decide to attack our city then we'll be able to kill them that way what's that marble we're gonna have a bit of a problem over here I'm start. I'm really starting to get worried about you. Good day, good day, mate. Or I should say, should say, Jindobli, as we are after all, Casimir the Great. Go ahead and uh, discuss. Definitely don't want to denounce him. Yeah, announces to the world that your empires are now friends. Both players must want to make the declaration. Yes, an excellent idea. May our alliance be the envy of the world. Beautiful. So now we are besties forever. International besties. A bit like China and America are pretending to be right now. And then we're going to backstab each other. Which I'm very much looking forward to. But hopefully that'll uh, get rid of any issues we might have. Hopefully it'll stop the AI from actually attacking us. All right, we're no longer friends with Bratislava. I wonder if, let's go check. They want faith. Oh, wow. They will reward the player with the largest faith growth. So far, you have to lead with five faith. Interesting. And they also want us to discover a natural wonder. They want us to destroy this barbarian encampments. I don't think so. Usually you get brownie points for destroying a barbarian encampments near city states. So you guys keep on moving on. Okay. Love to explore what's up north here. There's still that barbarian encampment there. Okay. Hmm. I think we'll leave it at the amount of cities that we've got now, because after all, they'll keep on growing as well, and if that'll really slow us down. We need some trade routes. Trade routes, others established to your civilization. And they're giving us a bit of gold. And... Okay. We better establish some trade routes. They'll no doubt help us with Marrakesh and our relationship with them, no doubt. So, something that I should strive for. I'm like, might actually buy something with that money. So I've just got this gold just waiting about. It's probably best to use it early up in the game so you can get a good head start. In the meantime, 
I'll let you guys just chill back for a moment and bring you guys there. You guys up here. What's that? That's a bit of salt. So we've already got a quarry there. You guys just keep on trying to get here as quick as you can. Now in Warsaw, what should we build? Uh, Caravan Sari. Caravan Sari. Interesting name. That's definitely new. Land trade routes originating from this city have a 50% increase in range and produce an additional two gold when connecting to other another civilization. Or we can get the Ducal Stadium or Stadium Pool. National Epic. No one's built that yet. Go build a caravan. Didn't we already have a caravan? No, I guess not. Oh, let's see. A Ducal Stable Temple. Should you go for the temple? What are all our people working on? Doing a good job. Doing a good job. Might, well, might as well bring someone up here, but we are still growing. It's not really hurting us too much, our growth, so that's all nice. We're all out of turns. All right, my money. That's what I've got to do something with it. Terracotta army has been built in a faraway land. I mean, someone's much further ahead of us. Alright, so we've uh, captured, or oh, we've gotten mathematics. Not captured it. You guys can move up. Go, and we're not able to kill them just yet. Let's go buy, purchase. Hmm. Like this area would be nice. A bit more stone, a bit of incense. I've got so much stone though. Don't I have. Let's go check out our wonders. Because something helps us with stone though, doesn't it? Palace indicates this city is the capital of the empire. Very cool. Here we go. Gain 100 gold for each time a great person is expended. Each source of marble or stone worked by this city produces 2 gold. So I've got 3. So we're producing 6. Let's just maybe go with the Ducal Stable. So, I don't know. Or the Caravan. Let's go with the Caravan. Too late now. We've got the Caravan. So now... I'm guessing you can't move the, yeah, yeah, usually when you buy things, you can't move them the next turn. Yeah, or you have to wait until the next turn. Yeah, you guys better watch out, you Portuguese filthy bastards. We will kill you. Don't stop scouting out lands. Definitely turn tight finally to that. Been able to kill him yet? Jump over here then. Oh! Horseman. Alright, so here we go. Change home city or establish a trading route. We want to establish a trading route with... That's too far, Marrakesh. Let's go to... Krakow. So hopefully that'll go a little bit quicker. Okay. Not looking all that bad. Against these horses. Although, hopefully... We go ahead and uh, really hit them in the backsides. Portuguese are going God knows where. And we're finally just about to build the uh, hunting thingamajig. The, yeah, a camp. That's what we want. And Krakow is just about to grow as well. What are you guys' skills? Shock 2, fighting in open terrain. Shame there's no real open terrain over here just yet, so. And what are you guys at? Good at? Accuracy in open terrain as well. That did a lot of damage. It's nice. 
Okay, we're going to destroy this encampment pretty quickly. Oh, he's completely the chichin itza. He's doing his good stuff pretty quickly. He's probably far away ahead of us. Oh no, not really. We're actually doing really well. I'm quite impressed. We get 100 from Wonders. How much does he have? 75 from Wonders, so... He's pretty close to us on the Wonder front, surprisingly. Okay, we can attack them there. And I'll bring you up here. Ah, you're out of moves. Oh, we can wait it out. It's not like this horseman is going to attack us very much at all. Or do much damage if they do try to attack us. The caravan should be somewhere here. Here it is. And shoot that. Oh, and we've got enough for a pantheon. They get the encampments or 12 culture. It's going to help us out. And next time we're going to be able to get another social policy. All right. Let's see. What can we get for the pantheon? Something to do with culture. I don't really have jungle tiles anyway here. 10% faster growth rate. I think that's going to be really good. Is pastures. Pastures are just like the cows. That's, well, that's a grassland. So farm's not a pasture. A pasture is like... There we go. Where the horses are. That's what it is. So we don't have too many of them. So, damn, it's a tough choice. It really is. Tier science in cities with the... Okay, that's, that could also help us. But I'm pretty sure, I think the faster growth rate will be probably pretty good. Let's go with that. Fertility rights. So, we've gone with fertility rights because the more people we have... Although, of course, it is going to be a bit of a uh, pain on food, etc. We've got lots of grassland and all that. We'll be able to put more people into specialist buildings. We've got a fair amount of them. And, uh, yeah. Great work of buildings. What is, what is a great work? Nine gold per turn spent on building maintenance in this city. Does that mean I get an amphitheater for free? Have I even built an amphitheater here? Who knows? I guess I will have, because it's over here, though. So, it's already 50 AD. Jesus Christ, he's long gone. Let's head over to the Ducal Stadium. Stable. What do I keep on saying stadium for? The Ducal Stable. Which is a unique Polish stable replacement, which gives us 15% production and 15% XP for mounted units. Each pasture works by this city produces one production and one gold. Definitely going for that. Okay, so that'll help us out. In the meantime, we should go around exploring over here. Over into the next turn. Still doing all our good trades. These guys are cutting the forest. No, they're not. We can adopt a policy now. We can go with flourishing of the arts. Culture increased by 33% in all cities which have a built a world to wonder and the empire immediately enters a golden age. Or a great artist appears. We'll go with the golden age immediately. Hopefully that doesn't get rid of uh, how much we've already gotten or worked up for the golden age. Because if we if that does, that definitely is a bit of a poo-poo. We've -poo. just met Zurich. They're allied with nobody. They're mercantile city-states. They've got incense, porcelain, and iron. Quite a bit there. I might go ahead and get another worker next time after we build the Ducal Stables. Maybe I'll even buy... I don't know. We're getting three faith a turn. It's pretty quick, but we need 200 faith... For our next chance at a great prophet, and with a great prophet, you can pray to your own religion. So it's a little while yet. Until we're there. 
or six plus culture once archaeology is discovered. City must be built on or next to desert. That's actually a perfect place there then. Actually, that is a good idea. I'll give a small land. So. Purchase a settler. Not available to do that just yet, but we can actually build one, hopefully. Should we? We should. Alright, so that'll stagnate the food, which is what it does, which we'll let last, oh, maybe even before that. Go ahead and over into the next turn. How are these guys going? Yeah, so Marrakesh has got 21 defense. We've got 20 in Warsaw, 11 in Krakow. We've discovered currency. What do you know? Okay. Now, does Zurich have any missions for us? None. Yeah, so I'll just send these guys around just to protect our settler. We've built the camp. That's very nice. I'm over here and construct a quarry. And okay, we're trading back and forth between Warsaw and Krakow. And we're going for civil service now. And we're, of course, in the Golden Age, which increases uh, production empire wide and culture by 20%. Cities, oh yeah, cities gain 20% production. And at least one gold produces one extra. It's a good, it's good. That's what we're trying to get at. <laughs> all right. So yeah, so they're producing more gold, like all of these areas. I see. Who needs orders? You need orders. Look over here. We can't embark yet, can we? Go ahead and build me a quarry. Thank you very much. What can I purchase? Workers are at 310. Soon. Soon, my precious, we will have you. Bit weird to be calling other guys my precious, but as you do. I'm surprised Zurich hasn't gotten rid of these barbarians. Either they're quite impotent or they're just lazy. Maybe it's a mixture of the two. Okay. Oh, we can go ahead and explore a bit. But of course, you won't be able to go ahead. We haven't explored down south. There's definitely ocean around here, though. You know what? Come over here. Another religion has been founded, so we might be late. Oh, oh, oh! That's saucy. Who was that purple guy? Well, hello, Enrico Dandalo of Venice. What brings you to my fair city? Well, you're the one that made the effort to come to me, but let's go discuss. Lo I love how these guys speak. Bloody brilliant. Okay, yeah, say goodbye, though. That is it. An Assyrian settler. That means they're going to go ahead and try to beat us over here. Oh, wow. What a bunch of hats. Legitimate hats. Okay, wow. Um, I might have to go get a catapult. I'll go get the barracks first, which will give all my units 15% more XP. I'll bring these guys over here. Oh, damn. They're going to be trying their funny business. Reformation belief added. Oh, no. Okay. We're going to have to kill them. That means we're going to have to declare war already. Although it's against Assyria and they don't seem to be that strong. Venice seems to be really big. It's all the way over there in the top right. The world's most wonderful people. I'm glad we're leading that. In Venice we can barely see over there in the top right. We're going to have to kill him. I am going to have to kill him. I can't take this risk. I'll have to shoot him. Thankfully, he's got no allied city-states. That's gonna definitely... He literally has one of the most glorious beards I've ever seen. 
That thing is a thing of majesty. Um, <laughs> goodbye. All right, and uh, so they turn. All right, they turn to workers then. Interesting. Uh, well, we needed workers anyway. That's pretty cool. Put these warriors there. Who else needs orders? You need orders. Come up and found us this city over here. In the desert. Because that's what we need for that one special wonder. Which actually seems pretty decent. We also will produce a barrack in one turn. And it's growing in a couple. But we've started a war. Finally. Took us a little bit of time. But we have the Western Front to worry about as well. Because Morocco is growing quite a bit. Although Assyria seems to be quite easy. Actually, we can even check diplomacy. Check out 16 points for cities. So they've got two cities, as much as we do. And we're friendly with both Portugal and Morocco. Venice is neutral. They're a whole ocean away from us as well. That's all very nice and dandy. Until next time, guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed another episode of our Civilization V brave new world let's play there'll be a lot more episodes coming shortly and if you have enjoyed make sure you like all these videos and i'll see